First quarter, Tannehill, the Aggie, digs in. Here's motion by Rodgers. Foreman gets the handoff, and he's blasted in the backfield. The move! What is going on, Bucks fans, NCFP fans? Evan Wanna here back, back at you with yet another video talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And today we are going to be discussing some breaking news regarding the Buccaneers. The Bucks are signing cornerback Tavier Thomas to a one-year deal. Thomas was with the Houston Texans last season and with them for the last few seasons. Uh, he spent three years in Houston. Before that, spent three years in Cleveland. Last year in Houston, had 51 combined tackles, 30 solo tackles, 21 assisted, two tackles for loss. Uh, he was a pretty much a depth corner was a slot player for them. Um, he was a, a solid player. Uh, I, I think a solid role player started nine games or well, played nine games, started five of them for the Texans. So uh, a guy who ha has uh, been on the bench before, but has come in and played admirably you know, well. So I think he comes in and, he, and you're seeing again, Tampa Bay adding more uh, cornerback depth. I, I think that's what you're seeing here. And it's a good thing because Look, we've seen, I know Carlton Davis is gone, but we've seen a guy like Jamal Dean has struggled with injuries in the past, has struggled to stay on the football field. So adding a guy like Bryce Hall, adding a guy like Tavier Thomas, it makes a lot of sense for the Buccaneers to do that and round out that cornerback room. Now, what does this mean for the future of the position? Like moving forward, right? You know, I, they signed two corners in free agency. So I, I, I do think they're done probably adding corners through free agency, but also. I don't know if they're going to draft a corner at this point now, at least high, right? At least in the first three rounds, you could see them pick a guy in the fourth round. Maybe if they really like a guy, they don't expect him to be there. Hey, who knows? But I just don't know if they're going to invest a high draft pick on a corner this year. I know some fans definitely want them to, but I just don't know if that's going to be the case. But Thomas comes in, you know, a solid depth for the Buccaneers, and he's going to have a shot, I think, to compete. He's 5'10", 205 pounds. So um, it's sort of a, a smaller build of corner than they normally look for. But I think he's a guy who can play the slot. And again, this sort of signals like, is it the Buccaneers plan to maybe have Jamel Dean cornerback one, Zion McCollum cornerback two on the outside, have Tavier Thomas in the inside there in the nickel spot, have Bryce Hall as sort of that cornerback four. So that would be interesting to me uh, to see how that would line up and how Zion McCollum would play in that spot. But regardless of the Buccaneers, adding more cornerback depth here with Tavier Thomas, a 28-year-old. Uh, so he's still you know a pretty young dude. Um, so we will see how things shake out there. But let me know what you guys think of this signing. Please always curious to hear what your guys thoughts are on this signing let me know if you think the buccaneers are done in fragrancy or if they're going to do some more please let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and go bucks